Hello, I'm going to talk about the new web interface for managing event configuration and data performance metrics for SNMP. There are three links on the admin interface called SNMP MIP compiler, manage event configuration and manage SNMP collection and data collection groups. Let's start with the MIP compiler. The MIP compiler is intended to generate the XML configuration files for events or data collection depending on which uh, information you need. In the case of events, it will basically pick the SNMP notification and traps inside the MIPS and generate the corresponding event configuration files or it will pick the metrics defined on the SNMP MIP and generate the data collection group required to pull the data from the devices. So let's start uploading a sample MIP. For a simple purpose, I will pick the well-known IF MIP, which contain the IF table and IF X table, just to show an, an example how it works. After uploading the files, the file will be located on the pending directory and you can show a context menu with the operation you can use by right clicking on it and you can see that there is three operations here. If we hit on compile in this particular case it is showing that this particular MIP requires another MIP called a YANA IF type MIP. So let's upload that particular dependency. Let's compile it. This particular one has been successfully compiled, doesn't require additional MIPS, and now we are able to compile it. So, as you can hear, see here, there is an error inside the MIP. I just intentionally introduced an error inside the MIP just to show you how can the application handle the errors inside the file because from the web UI you can edit the file go to that particular line fix the problem save the file and now you can compile the MIP without problems so when the MIP is on the compiled directory it is ready to be processed if we show the context menu again it is a little bit different here we have two options, generate events or generate data collection. Let's start with events. If I click here, it will ask me how I want to identify uh, the events inside OpenNMS. So this will be the prefix or the UEI base that the application will use to identify the traps. Let's keep the default and these are the traps found inside the MIP. Just two traps and I can navigate on the table here and let's see that I want to change something just to show you how it works. If I click on edit I can change all the parameters inside this particular event so let's for example change the severity to be major for the link down and for the link up, let's say I have normal state here, and click on save. So when I'm ready to generate the events XML, I just click on save events files. And what it does, it will generate this particular file inside the etc events directory then it will add a reference to that files inside the main event configuration file called eventconf.xml and then it will generate an event that tells to OpenNMS that it should reload the event configuration. You go to the events, you can see that the event has been sent and the events configuration has been successfully reloaded. So now those traps are ready to be used. If we come back to the SNMP compiler and now 
hit on generate data collection, the interface is a little different. The data collection group is a more complex file because it contains three big sections here the resource type, the MIP groups, and the system definition. The resource type is intended to be used when we want to translate an SNMP table into the OpenNMS Word. So these are the resource type discovered from this particular MIP, and here are the groups. If, if we pick the IF table, we can see all the object ID discovered in this particular table, of course associated with this particular resource type. And if we want, we can change the parameters here, depending on what we need. For example, let's see, I want to store the speed as a string instead of a, a binary metric inside a JRB. Click on save and that's it. The only thing that the system can generate automatically are the system definitions. The system definition is the way that OpenMS use to associate a group of metrics with a particular device. So if I want to apply a specific set of groups for a specific, for example, a Juniper router, I just create a profile for this particular router device and associate the metrics I want to that device. So let's create an example for the, the groups we have created here. Let's call it sample. And here is how to associate this particular system definition to a real device. We can use the SNMP system object ID which is unique per uh, device model. And we can use uh, a specific object ID to match only one device, or we can use a mask to match multiple devices. So this particular mask will match a more uh, amount of devices or models uh, available. So let's create, for example, this particular definition with uh, these two tables just save it and now I'm ready to create the XML representation of this particular set of metrics when I click on save data collection files a new file will be generated right here inside etc data collection directory so now the group is ready to be included on an SNMP collection. But this must be done on a different link. So the other two links I have on the main screen my talked about are the Manage Event Configuration and Manage SNMP Collection. So the MIP compiler is to generate new events or generate new data collection. If I want to change something on, on a file that is already there, I just go to the event configuration if we are talking about changing something on events, or go to the SNMP collection and data collection group if I want to modify or create something new for performance metrics. So let's start for event configuration. Here is a list of all event definition files that exist on this particular system. I can filter this and pick a specific file. And here are the events that generated from a particular MIV here. I can make the change I want. If I want to change it, just click on save and the file will be ready to be used after I click that. For example, let me show you now the, the here are the MIPS that we already created using the MIP compiler. And if we now click on the SNMP collections, we have two separate uh, 
tabs here. The data collection group displays the groups of set of metrics we created before. If you see here is the one that we just created with the IFMIP sample information. Of course you can see another kind of data here. This particular he said node level resources. I said node level resources because the instance is a number and there is no resource type. So when the data collection groups are already created, we can go to SNMP collection, and here's the default that contains the RRD definition here, the name of the collection, which is default. And here is how I can associate the groups to this particular set of metrics. Let's, for example, I want to add this IF me we just create just click it and then update and I already added here in the group so when I click on save this particular uh, collection is ready to be used an SNMP collection should be associated with a service inside the package on the collect D configuration if you make changes on an SNMP collection that is already used inside collect configuration the XML, the changes will be taken uh, immediately. But if you create a new collection, that collection should be associated with a service inside that particular file, and that particular file can be reloaded automatically. So in this particular case, you must restart OpenNMS. I will repeat to be sure that everything is clear. If you change, for example, this default collection that is already associated with a service inside the package on collect configuration, every change you made there will be taken immediately. But if you create a new SNMP collection, you can do that through the web interface, but then you should manually attach it to a service and a package inside collect configuration file and then you should restart OpenNMS. So that's conclude this particular tutorial and I hope it was uh, useful. Thanks.